authenticity matters. It just is. The Upper East Side, it just is. It has the history. You can't make that up. It's here and it's important and it matters. up here because of the restaurants, because of the low density, because of the accessibility to 95, I can get anywhere. Do I need to be downtown? Do I need to be uptown? Do I need to go to the beach? What's important to, I think, all the residents here is, is that it is a neighborhood. So the idea of walkability, accessibility, being on the Miami side, closer to art and culture, I think that there's a need and a want, and I'm really thrilled that the developer I think is doing such a thoughtful high-end product. The approach has been let's create something that's different, that brings uh, artistic value and added value to the community, to the buyer, and of course to, to the commercial uses. Because of the MIMO District Historic designation, this area of the Upper East Side will never have an opportunity to have this type of density again. So it becomes a very exclusive area. Here you have an opportunity to have a brand new home within a location that's very unique, very distinguished, and is continuing to grow in its, its exclusivity and its demand, very high demand. As far as the Upper East Side, I'm basically a pioneer. So I came here when it was not as welcoming as it is today, but somebody had to open something. So I decided to open the Soika restaurant. I opened another one across the street called Andiamo, and I purchased some buildings over here to create what we call the 55th Street Station. It's wonderful now. And if you are a city boy, or people that like to live in the city rather than far out suburbia, this is neither suburbia, but it's a very peaceful city. The nice thing about the Upper East Side is there are a lot of families. There's a very good school here called Cushman, and it is actually a neighbor to the project. There's also Country Day down the block. And as the kids get older, of course, the Dash, which is one of the top five high schools in the country, which is a public school. Very family-oriented neighborhood. We have Morningside Park, which is a very large park. It's got a pool, it's got a place to, to dock some boats. It sits along the bay. It's just a beautiful park directly across the street. When we talk about Boulevard 57, you have to look at all of the elements together to really understand what's happening with this very unique property. We felt years ago that if an apartment could be more like a home, a single family home on the ground, the closer you can get an apartment to that, the better it's going to be livability wise, culturally. These apartments have state of the art everything. The quality of the finishes, the quality in the bathrooms and the quality in the kitchen, are all contemporary and, and clean and unique and uh, say home. The location demands retail at the base because that's what's been classical to Biscayne Boulevard. And so we have this retail pedestal that sits on the ground with 25 foot ceilings. A nucleus of various shops and cafes that'll bring it all together. And on top of the base, we have this enormous pool deck with cabanas. Now, people would think, well, cabanas are on the beach. But our experience tells us that cabanas can be anywhere there's a pool. Unique to, the, to 57 is the client's wish to make them available to everybody and not for sale for particular individuals. This is a boutique, small, upscale product that is going to be a place to live in the neighborhood. The soul of the Upper East Side, I think, is, is evolving. I think, you know, Boulevard 57 will define part of what that will be. When it does get placed, it's not only going to be the hub of this neighborhood, and it's not only going to raise the bar in terms of value, it's going to raise the bar in terms of lifestyle, for sure. It's a great lifestyle for families, and it's probably one of the best lifestyles to live in in the city uh, of Miami, in the urban core. We're going to see more food and beverage on the boulevard. You're going to see more retail. It's friendly to everybody, and it's 
really, really a great community. We are truly in a, in a transformation time for the Upper East Side.